Hi, I am Jean here. We're going to have a look today at stretching some paper ready for either a watercolour or an ink painting. I don't tend to use watercolours much but I do a lot of ink and if you use big washes your paper tends to buckle and a lot of people seem to think that stretching paper is some strange really difficult magical thing so let's stretch a piece of paper and I can show you how easy it is and then your ink paintings will stay flat and your watercolour paintings. So I have a piece of watercolour paper here. This is just the SAA practice paper. It's not expensive at all. You can, if you use really, really thick paper, you don't need to stretch it, but this will save you a lot of money. So I have a drawing board. I have some gummed tape. It's very important that it is gum tape and nothing else, okay? And I have my piece of watercolour paper and I have a wet rag. So, this is what we do. Let's put that back up there. Put my tap on over the sink. Hold my watercolour paper under the tap. Let it go over all of it for a little while. If you have a bath, you can put some water in the bath, put your paper in the bath for 10 seconds. Strangely, I don't have a bath in my studio, so I'm using a sink, and I always use the sink. But you can see I'm getting water all over it, tipping and tilting it. For a good little while, it wants to be wet. Turn it over and turn it over. Then I'm going to hold it up until this little drip stops. It won't be long. Honestly, it won't be long. There we are. We've gone down to drips. And then I'm going to put it on there and now I'm going to work quickly. My gum tape, roughly measure. And I'm going to put the gummy side down on my cloth stick it to the board. Next piece. Oh, can't find the edge. There it is. I've got a little, there we are. Onto my cloth. It doesn't want to be drenched, but it does want to be wet. That side, you'll find as you go around that it's already starting to bump the paper, to cockle is the proper word. I'm not very good at proper words. It's going bumpy. There we are, and down the last side. There we are, and then you're going to leave it until tomorrow. Just leave it, don't put a hairdryer on it, don't put it in the sun, just leave it alone, and tomorrow that will be stretched as tight as tight can be. And you can watercolour or ink on top of it, and it won't cockle, everything will stay flat. So I shall see you for the next one.